Welcome back. This is M Dog, and um, excited to get back out on the ocean. A little bit of time today, so um, yeah. Looking forward to spending a little bit of time with you here out on the Norwegian Sea. So I think the thing that we're going to do in this video is actually just check out a couple of different setups. Um, they're very similar. Both are going to be featuring, featuring the Lurker, uh, Blue Lurker Lure, uh, and one of them is the 100, one of them is the 200. We're going to just kind of test both out, see what the bite rate is like. Uh, this is the lighter setup, so we've got the Lurker 100 on this. Uh, you'll notice the fire stick and the fire tubes are going to be the same on both setups. Make sure we do not uh, run us aground here. We're going to start off at the 34 meter hole. And as long as we get a decent bite rate, we may just fish there. Uh, just kind of want to see what kind of fish might come in for us. So um, besides that, the, the black handmade foam rubber fish seem to be doing really well right now. So we're definitely going to have that on one of our drop shots. But then we're doing shrimp. This is more for the mackerel. And then this is like a little vers more versatile shrimp um, for some of the other smaller fish sorry and, and some of the other things just kind of depends on what's active right now here at 34 on how that goes and then here's the other setup um again same kind of stuff up here slightly bigger hook the 200 lurker instead of the 100 and then all of the 04 handmade again it just looks like those are doing pretty well at the moment um so that is what we're going to start off with we could even, as it's getting, it won't, it'll be overnight for too long. Sometimes it's tempting to actually go jigging rig overnight. So I don't know that that's what I'll do because if these are still getting pretty active bite rate, we might do that. But I think we'll start off with the smaller setup. Um, but I will rotate back and forth and I'll try to, try to note when we're switching. I'm hoping we'll just have a healthy bite rate, see some interesting fish over the next little while, but I haven't had the opportunity to play uh, RF4 in quite a you know few days, so I um, feel really disconnected from, really from the most, up, most recent um, update when the new fish species were added. I haven't had a chance to play other than I did a stream, you know, I've did a couple things, but I haven't, I don't, I still don't feel like connected at all to like what's going on, how the new fish species might have changed like strats a little bit. So, um, I just haven't been able to play enough to, to feel confident about figuring that stuff out. All right. So we're right here in the middle of 34. This will probably pop a happy hour, which is fine. Um, and let's just go ahead and get some fishing in. Again, this is the smaller setup. Uh, although since we have the lurker on there, like for right now, I'm not going to keep it at the top. I I'm not going to just target small fish. Although with those lures, especially what we have on the drop shot, I wouldn't be surprised if we do sometimes see the smaller fish. But I think we go straight to the bottom here and uh, start perking. I just want to make sure we've got a good bite rate out here before spending too much time and also just see what type of fish we're catching. Um, so equipment wise, uh, and I'll cast this set, out, set up out again, but this is uh, a setup that I've been using now for you know a while. It's, it's turned into one of the more fun setups for me out here. Um, it does have some limitations in terms of test. This, of course, is the Poseidon Sensi. So we've got some really cool bonuses here. The only thing that would be better is the newer rods they've added actually add bigger bonuses and a better test range, but they're a lot more expensive. And this does use the Regal uh, Reel, as you see. Um, so this one's a little more flexible, the Regal is, in terms of the changing the gear ratio and all that. So um, I guess arguably I may have these backwards a little bit just to, since on the larger setup, I've got our um, 
the uh, the other reel, but I, I mean, I think it's fine. I do have this overloaded a good bit. You know, we go up to 55, so if I ever lock this, we're going up to 55. Also notice that I have the, the strips on this one and then the small fillets on the 200. So this is our third cast. Let's, let's go ahead and switch after this fish. Two pretty quick pit fish, you know, really good species of fish. Haddock and then Pollock. Pollock's my, one of my personal favorites. Uh, but so far it has been good bite rate. Let's see if that keeps up. So far so good. And we'll also see what's the bite rate like when we do switch to um, the larger lure. All right, there's a sculpin. All right, so let's go to our other setup here. I'm gonna go ahead and cast this in and then I'm gonna go do something across the room real fast. We'll just take me a second. Turn my little fan on over there. Oh, wow. All right. So as soon as it hit the bottom, we got a bite. Now, this is an interesting combination here because, I mean, I'll check it as we go, but I'm assuming we'll see a lot of fish on the um, foam rubber, the, the O4 handmaids. But we'll see how the Lurker 200 does. Remember, this is the Lurker 200, so potentially catch a little better, better fish. Oh, there's a dab for you. That's cool. Yeah, let's definitely see what that came in on. So the dab came in on the 200 Lurker. Uh, we've got Real Shrimp 03, Foam Rubber 04, and the 100 Lurker. So we are very spread uh, right now on the different lures. Kind of makes you feel like you're using some good lures when yeah, almost everything has caught a fish already. So let's get this retrieval speed up. Not getting perking. Must have it a little too much slack there. There we go. Try to go three fish on this one before maybe switching back to the other one. Okay. Definitely the longest bite rate. Uh, the longest we've waited for a fish, huh? There we go. Okay, there's our second haddock. Let's do see what that came in on. And after this next fish, we will switch back to the smaller setup. So that is the Lurker 200, very cool. how we were patient there before we started perking just let it sit there on the bottom for a minute but now let's see what species this is sculpin not what we want to see i'll keep it just so we have all the fish but that was on the 04 all right so now we switch back to the smaller one let's just give this a few more casts here much more likely it seems like to, um, well, I don't know about much more likely. This is, you know, oh, that fish tri tri dropped off. 
That's, this is twice now that we saw a fish hit it on the drop on this setup, not so much the other setup, but I think with that Lurker 200, you know, that kind of makes sense, that tracks right. We might have to earn our bites on the other setup a little bit more, but let's see what this is. There's a little mackerel. That's gonna be on the real shrimp 6.5. And again, like, you know, and we'll do it this time just to see how it goes, but I'm, I'm sure we could stop this at 20, perk it right here and try to just focus the small fish. Um, but I'm not fully committing to that. So I wasn't gonna do this, at least not a whole lot. There's a small one. Let's see if this is a sorry, maybe. Yeah, there it is. So, you know, let's see, did that come in on the 03? Yeah, and that's what I would expect. I think if we focused them, we could do that. Uh, and that might be the most lucrative thing to do in some ways, but I, I kind of wanted to, if we get something on the drop, that's fine, but I kind of wanted to fish off the bottom right now just to get a good feel of different species that are coming in at different times of day here um, in, this, in this area. There's another sorry, two in a row. Very cool fish. I mean... Good silver, good XP, sometimes cafe orders. You like seeing that. Was that the uh, 03 again? No, that was the natural shrimp, the 04. Just trying some different things out here. Oop, fish was on and then it popped off. That's all right. We'll find a different one. There we go. So far, not seeing safe. Always a surprise when I don't see safe popping on, but. There's another haddock. I think that's our third or fourth haddock, right? One, two, three. Because I just imagine we'll be using the other setup once it gets to be nighttime, I'm sort of just staying with this setup until we get to nighttime, I think, the smaller one. Then we'll go to the Lurker 200 and handmade foam rubber fish once, uh, once it's overnight. Gotta love those small bites that just bounce off. There's a place. These flat fish are so good in terms of XP and everything, silver, especially if they're good size like that. The dab and the place. On the drop. Nice, sorry, wow. Thanks to Awesome Sauce and Slaw Dog for the kind words. Let's let this thing sit down there for a second. There we go. 
There we go. Guess what? It's a Pollock. Just hitting them. Hey, love to see the spiny dogfish. I just threw that on the boat. It's not what we meant to do. We are drifting, but still in a pretty good spot. So 12 minutes. 16 fish but not all of them keepers so we're definitely at a good rate of fish quality is above average i guess it's for a small setup like this had it had it once again stories though Pretty close to switching it over. Maybe not quite yet. Maybe one more fish after this. Switching it over to our uh, Lurker 200 and Foam Fish setup. Oh, nice safe. There's our first safe of the day. Uh, we should probably we should probably do that. Maybe we'll do strips with the next one if we get another one. All right. Okay. What do we have here? I got to watch this. I I'm not convinced this isn't big enough to... Uh, 
snap our line. It could be, it's so bouncy. It's got safe written all over it, doesn't it? Not necessarily though. I've been surprised on the bouncy ones before, but it often is safe. Let's see, this is interesting. This is one of those like, okay, this wouldn't be as fun on the Cardinal without the gear ratio option. We'd have to be a little more patient. We're getting this in though, no problem. It's nowhere near strong enough to break it. We are good, solid. Just we'll have a little fight in him at first. That was the only thing. Oh, a little cod. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't any bigger than that. All right, last cast on the 100 for a little bit. We'll switch over to 200. See how this goes. All right. They are killing it today. That is awesome. All right. So very good on the smaller setup. Um, obviously some of those species would slow down overnight, although we could still like do pretty well, I think with that setup, but I want to give this setup a little bit of time and especially at overnight C if it's sustainable decent bite rate we were definitely having to work a little harder on this setup before i also need to reposition the boat we've gotten off 34 at this point i really wish i would have noticed that before this it's hard enough getting a bite with this setup potentially without Realizing that I'm on the edge here. I may just, I may just have to pull it up and start over. Ooh, I love it on the way up on the way up it hit it I was pulling it up at regular speed because I didn't have shift down my other hand was holding my phone for a second there and we caught the fish on the way up Let's see what this is in this reposition Eleven point three safe. Trying to find the balance here. 
I don't know if it's the color of my shirt or what, but all of a sudden the green screen is not loving me. I think it's fine. Okay, let's see what we can do here. It is 1119 in the evening, almost midnight. Bite rate probably will slow down a little bit, but we should still be able to make a living. Let's see how it goes. This is small. Oh, it dropped off. So it was on one of the drop shots. I can tell that because the small fillet didn't fall off, right? I think that's true. I think that's an accurate representation. It was small though. I mean, it could have been either a small fish or a very small version of a whatever it was. That safe was on the Lurker 200. That's interesting. All right. Oh, I know what the problem is. I don't have the overhead light on. I'm surprised I got it to work as well as it is working. Holy cow. Okay. I'll fix the light lighting situation in a second here and that'll help the green screen or it should. It's a little cusk. All right. All right, typically that helps. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All of a sudden the camera can focus a little bit easier since there's more light. Well, we actually got a fish on the drop. So on this next cast, let me just pull up our setup and just kind of remind you once again what we're using. Remember, this is the Lurker 200 setup. There's another Pollock, I love it. So that Pollock hit it on the drop. We'll see what it hit in just a second, but this has the Lurker 200 and then all foam rubber fish 04 below it on the, on the drop shot. All those handmaids. And that did hit a 04 on the drop. All right, nice, nice bites. Might just be a little cusk, I, I don't know. It's got no sort of variation to the pull. Um, once we got it off the bottom, it, if anything, it lightened up a little bit. We'll see what it is though. Kind of makes me think cusk, but we'll see. Yeah, a little bigger, about five kilos. That's going to be another handmade. Yep, number 04. On the drop. Uh oh. oh. That was weird. I think I accidentally had hit the space bar, maybe. I had the, the thing out so we couldn't actually reel to set that hook, but thankfully it waited for us. There's a little safe. So there are a few safe here. I'll sell the 11 kilo one, but two kilo, yeah, we'll turn that into some strips. I 
already a nice collection of fish. I mean, really, either setup that we've thrown in, there's really not been a time that we've ever had to wait for very much time at all. I think there was that one cast, but once I did something a little different, it um, it started. It started. Like we got a bite pretty immediately. So. Another cod. Eclipse the 30 minute mark, so I don't know. We'll get a few, couple more fish here. I'm not going to go a full hour or anything, but we'll go a couple more minutes. There's another haddock. I, you know, one thing I really like about this not only the small fish, especially during the day, that you can catch make some good money, but pollock and haddock poten potential here that's always a good sign, as far as I'm concerned. I really like that. Another had it. If I have the endurance patience right now, but it would be interesting if I do have, you know, kind of the time keeps going pretty rapidly and I just kind of enjoy fishing here for a couple more minutes, see what happens like till 8 a.m., sort of that early morning bite, see if anything interesting comes in maybe. I wonder what would target the eel pout at the moment. A little surprised we haven't seen one on one of our handmaids. But I'll look at the weeklies and just, I'm not going to switch at this point, but I am just kind of curious. Are they just not here or are they um, a little particular right now on what they're biting? Just letting this sit for a minute. We were perking and we weren't catching anything, so so unusual to not get a pretty fast bite that
pretty nice sculpin, if I'm being honest. 2.7. We're drifting the other way now. Green. O threes, looks like. This stays on here. This is a small fish. <laughs> the timing. Oh, the timing. Jig step. Maybe a little harder to get a bite uh, from like three to four thirty a.m. It seems like. I mean, I'd say 5, 5.30, something like that. We probably see it pick up a little bit again, but we also have drifted to a slightly different part of the bank here. There's another Pollock. Another Pollock. It's five o'clock. Hmm. 
I save. Just want to get away from the edge a little bit here, just for the last few casts. I'll probably just try to catch a couple more fish. I guess because it was drifting behind us. It hadn't quite fully hit the bottom yet, even at when it was at the bottom depth. Okay, there we go. Nice size safe or something. It's actually a little calm to be a safe, isn't it? I I'm not sure what this is. Poly I mean, sorry, cod again. They like those foam rubber fish, apparently. Wow. All of the cod have come in on those foam rubber fish. Might be interesting. Uh, obviously, it'd slow you way down, but just in terms of fish selection, it might be interesting. Take the, take the drop off, drop shot off, just fish with the lurkers. Picking back up again. You don't love to see this area be cod, uh, cod heavy because of the people like me right now using smaller setups. It just, once they get too big, the cod are not uh, beginner setup friendly. It's another one. We'll see if that followed the trend or if it came in on the lurker. That was Foam Fish 04. Not a cod. spiny all right one more fish here we almost made it to 8 a.m so let's get one more fish see what it is and um we'll go back and check on the cafe i don't think we did anything cafe wise but you never know things could have rolled over i didn't pay super close attention before coming out what they were so might be worth checking We'll at least see kind of what what sort of silver we're making here and whatever it is 35 minutes of fishing maybe 40 by the time we're done here yeah 41 minutes all right something small but that's okay 
We saw a wide range of different fish species. It's a little whiting. That's a cool fish to end on. All right, let me uh, respawn here. Main thing I wanted to see, and I feel like we got a good read on this, is just, you know, how the Lurker 100 and 200 were doing, uh, especially alongside of those 004 uh, handmade foam rubber fish. And the answer, as I suspected, and is typically the case, is they seem to all be doing very well. That seems like those types of combinations right now seem to be a good way to have a good active bite rate. One cusk away, that's always sad. Now this order, pretty easy to fill. 52 silver on a Pollock. Uh, now, yeah, if I had noticed the Saith order, I don't know, we could have even gotten closer at least. I don't know if we would have gotten it, but anyway, that Saith order is always nice as well. So 50 plus 390 more. Man, such good silver. <laughs> I don't know. That's one thing I love about fishing in Norway. It's always just such good silver. Always such good silver. Okay. Well, I think that'll do it. As always, thanks for watching. And um, let me know how your fishing's going. We're closing in on level 45, although not getting to play very much, at least right now. Again, this, this hopefully will change before too long. But... Um, we're not actually that close to hitting level 45 just because of, again, we're not playing enough, but um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support, tight lines. And uh, again, I hope, hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Peace out.